What up, y'all? It's your boy Nick here, me and the movies. A little bit of shaded darkness, but that's all right. Uh, what to catch us a flick up in here at the Edwards Ontario 22. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all. We're here to check out Liam Neeson and the commuter. Yo, um, I think we're a little bit late, so let's, without further ado, let's go get to our theater and check it out right now. Liam Neeson, the commuter, yo. Um, I saw some, some cool people. that Vera Farmiga's in this, and, um, and it's about the director that he's always worked with, or some other films, I believe, uh, run all night and all that stuff like that. So let's get in there and check it out, the commuter, y'all. All right, I got my specs on deck, movie on uh, select, and I'm about to check out the commuter. So, yo, uh, let's get in there right now. It's the RPX Theater for some reason. But let's get in there right now. We might be a little bit late, but I got my ticket. Let's get wicked. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. We just got out of the commuter, and I gotta give the commuter a big old. Uh, one of these. It was one of these. It was almost not good because uh, we do that. <laughs> we gotta give it like that because it was. Um, it was this big old who mystery and everything like that. And it's almost like the movie didn't know what it wanted to do at the end. Um, it was just a, 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 a whole bunch of misdirection. And ultimately they try to just, you know, like, I'll spoil it a little bit, a train derailment. And even after that, it wasn't over. It was just like, come on now. I mean, a regular guy. Yeah, well, we understand. We find out really quick in the beginning of the movie that he's an ex-cop. But oh man, this this was almost. I thought it was Vera Farmiga being in this movie that it looked too similar to Source Code, and it was kind of unsatisfying, just like Source Code. And uh, I like that it had Patrick Wilson in it. Patrick Wilson is always that dude, but um, his his character and his appearance in this movie didn't save it. It kind of made him not look all that great but um you know likes a little sam neil appearance and everything like that but um this wasn't one of his good movies as far as the director uh, the shallows was tight and all that stuff but the commuter not so much um i didn't really care for it too much it wasn't that good of a film uh she, she caught her a little cameo you see her little pass by she looked she saw it she she, she got it in anyways um yeah it, <laughs> I can't believe that Liam Neeson read the script and was like, yeah, this is a good film. I mean, it was just a paycheck. I'm sure it was just a paycheck. That's why it's January being released and everything like that. The movie was way too long. It was longer than it needed to be. Um, they kind of made Elizabeth McGovern, his, the uh, actress playing his wife, kind of made her look kind of... It, it was just weird. It was just weird. I don't know, weird. But uh, I didn't really care for this movie all too much. Um, if you were to watch it at home, Redbox, Amazon, Netflix, you'd be like, mm, 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 whatever. You know, um, this, 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 this pairing has done better films, I, I See, would say. As I'm looking a little closer, he directed The Shallows, which was dope, but nonstop, not so much. They, basically, this movie, this movie right here, this movie is nonstop on a train. That's all it is. Yeah, a little further thoughts on the, the commuter. I'm kind of annoyed by the uh, unnecessary big 
action set piece in the third act and everything, and it was just, it, it was all for no, yeah, it was just ridiculous. I mean, oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm so glad I remembered because I was so offended when it happened. I wish I would remember seeing this in the theater, but um, so the, the ending climax had this big action set piece, like I said, and oh my God, was there a coon moment of a black man just willingly and nobly, I mean, oh, that's a tight shot right there, that's crazy. Um, willingly and nobly, and I underscore that because the word noble was kind of an issue. Um, all right, that was tight, just kind of cut it out now because I couldn't see myself. But the word noble became, became an anchor in, a, uh, in this movie and everything like that. But he kind of all nobly sacrificed himself with a little kind of like speech, a little short, little monologue speech, proudly uh, doing so. I was like, oh my God, just played a good old shoe shine boy. Just, just a good old black train conductor. Yeah, man, y'all get on your ways, I'll get you there right away. You know, it was just, I was, I was like, what the hell am I watching? I was like, what the, I was, oh. Uh, Man, I, I was, and the thing is, two people should have died in that moment, and oh my God, I couldn't believe what I saw. I couldn't believe what I saw. I mean, it was like, it was like white privilege in an action moment, in an action, oh my God, it was so ridiculous. I was like, oh, oh, oh my, oh. I mean, oh, y'all gotta see this movie, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, man, that black man just sacrificed himself for the great, for the greater good, for the good of these peoples, you know? And um, wow, 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 wow. That's all I gotta say. I'm glad I remembered because I had I not remembered, it would have been a crime, a crime, a crime, a crime. Whew, I, I mean, he won a gold medal in the Coon Olympics with that one, man. I, I, I kept, I kept looking at the moment and seeing if somehow are they gonna save him too? Because if they would have saved him, if he would have lived, then it kind of would have redeemed the moment in a way. Like at least he didn't die for these for this stupid moment going on. But anyways, uh, 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 uh. the commuter, y'all. Yeah, it was not a it was not a good movie. I have to say, it was not a good. Want to say couple days later <laughs> um, something else that I thought was actually kind of dope that I gotta give props to um, and um, what's this movie I saw with Neam Leeson Neam Leeson Jesus um, no the commuter the the opening sequence um, of, of the collage of the many different days that Liam Neeson's character uh, got on the train and you know him being a commuter on that train to uh, encapsulate him being just a, uh, a, a not a, a frequent uh, passenger on that train route, you know, for a number of months or a number of years, actually ten years he was saying it was. But the collage of uh, of that passage of time was really dope. I mean, it was really really dope. I mean, it kind of definitely stood out. Um, and you really, it was just a fast forward way of uh, getting to know the characters, getting to know his family, getting to uh, have an understanding of how much he sacrificed and cares for his family. Now the movie that, that followed, ugh, whatever. So it's your boy Nick, me in the movies, and we just saw The Commuter here at the Edwards Ontario 22. We'll catch y'all next time, next flick.